Hey everybody, it's Michael Fisher with PocketNow.com. Here in the Boston offices of PocketNow, we are slaving away on our Samsung Galaxy Note 2 full review, which will be up very soon. But we figured in the interim that maybe you'd like to see some more comparisons. We've already compared the Note 2 to the Galaxy S3. Go ahead and look that up if you haven't seen that video yet. We've done an in-depth tour of the S Pen, and now we're going to have a quick look at the Samsung Galaxy Note 2 versus its predecessor, the Samsung Galaxy Note OG edition. We're going to uh, take a very quick look at this. As you can tell, we're working with on-camera audio, so it's not going to be an in-depth video. We're going to look at three areas, hardware, software, and the S Pen. We don't have a lot of time. we got to get back to work on this review, so let's get to it. It's Pocket Now. So let's take a look at hardware first. This is the Galaxy Note on the left, the Galaxy Note 2 on the right. Obviously, these are different colored devices. Both are offered in multiple colors, and it is difficult to photograph a dark and light phone at the same time. So please forgive me for that. You can see right here, it's, it's subtle, but if you take a look at it, you can see what we're talking about with this slimming effect. Samsung has definitely slimmed down the profile on the Note 2 here is well. In fact, the dimensions are 80 millimeters wide instead of 83 millimeters wide on the original Note. Uh, there's also been some minor slimming here, 9.4 millimeters on the new device, 9.7 on the old one. Nothing you're going to really notice unless you're really, really looking for it. And in fact, the weight has been increased, 183 grams on the Galaxy Note 2 versus 178 grams on the original Galaxy Note. But somehow, despite all that, despite the um, slim margins on the metrics and the fact that this one is actually heavier, the Galaxy Note 2 definitely feels better in the hand. It's not just because there's uh, a glossy finish, which is a little friendlier to the skin, than this weird uh, matte finish here on the original Note, but the device is slimmer, it's more palm friendly, it's more ergonomic, very, very similar to the Galaxy S3, which we discussed in depth in our Galaxy S3 versus Galaxy Note 2 video. Let's see if we can get our focus back there. There we are. Working, uh, before we jump into the software, we'll just have a look at the displays here. There's a little bit of uh, scrolling action here, which belies the different technology behind these screens. They are both large panels. This one is 5.3 inches, 5.5 on the right, on the new one. Uh, they're both Super AMOLED displays. However, uh, and they're both running the same um, almost the same resolution, 800 by 1280 over here, 720 by 1280 on the new device. Um, no pentile subpixel arrangement on the new Galaxy Note 2. That will make many people jump for joy. We've written some articles on that. You can look it up if you don't know what a pentile subpixel arrangement is. Anyway, hopping around to the back real quickly. We have, once again, both devices are rocking an 8 megapixel primary shooter. Um, the one on the Galaxy Note 2 has been rumored to be, and I believe confirmed to be, the same module as found in the Galaxy S3. So uh, that's good news for anyone, as anyone will know, who has used a Galaxy S3 camera before. It is an excellent, excellent shooter. Otherwise, hardware differences are relatively minor. Speakerphones are in the same place. Samsung branding, there's your flash. Uh, volume rockers, lock button in roughly the same place. Actually, Samsung has moved the lock button down on the Galaxy Note 2, so it's a bit more accessible. And um, note button, excuse me, I keep doing that, home button uh, flanked by capacitive menu and back keys on each instance here. So, given the choice between these two models, it shouldn't come as a surprise to anyone when I say I prefer the Note 2. Despite the fact that I don't really like the hyperglaze coating, it does feel better in the hand, and it is certainly a much more manageable device due to those new friendlier dimensions. Just want to talk about specs briefly. I know uh, some of you people watching the video are very interested in specs. Obviously, with a generation apart, the chipsets inside here are going to be different. The original Galaxy Note shipped with a Samsung Exynos dual-core processor running at 1.4 gigahertz. The Note 2 shipping with the new Exynos 4412 Quad running at 1.6 gigahertz. That is a quad-core processor. Obviously, very, very, very notable. Uh, more notable, possibly, is the fact that it also supports LTE. This will be the first phone, one of the first phones in the United States, to support both LTE and a quad-core processor at the same time. Very significant. Otherwise, we have some RAM differences here. One gig shipped in the original Galaxy Note in most configurations. In the Galaxy Note 2, we have double that. Two gigs of RAM. Available storage capacity... 16, 32, or 64 gigs of storage, augmentable by microSD, compared to 16 or 32 gigs of storage 
on the original Galaxy Note, also micro SD, over here. All right, that's hardware. Now, how about the software? So, from a software perspective, the original Note shipped with Android OS 2.3.5 Gingerbread, which was later made upgradable to Android 4.0.4 ICS, which is what we're running here. The Galaxy Note 2, being newer, of course, ships with Android 4.1.1 Jelly Bean and all the accompanying notification enhancements, Google Now, and the Project Butter UI enhancements, among others and including the pop-up browser, which I didn't mean to open just then, but I'm glad it opened because it allowed me to show off one of my favorite features, Samsung's new TouchWiz build. The TouchWiz builds are, uh, the TouchWiz builds, pardon me, are also completely different, obviously. Um, you can see in the original note, this is very much the Galaxy S slash Galaxy S2 uh, design language and the software here with these kind of big, square, colorful TouchWiz widgets that we became familiar with over a couple years of kind of hating on skins. Uh, the Galaxy Note 2, obviously bringing a much more modern take to the situation. Uh, a lot here just ripped, Samsung just ripped directly off from themselves in the, uh, the Galaxy S3, uh, which is not at all a bad thing. You can see some nice animations on folder openings here. Um, obviously, a much more pronounced focus on user interface in uh, the TouchWiz Nature UX. Whether you like it or hate it, maybe you don't like those um, river uh, water droplet sounds on every menu action, but you can, of course, change those. Whatever the case, it is a much more evolved user I interface than the old version of TouchWiz, and it is much, much more pleasant to use. And you can see that, uh, that change in responsiveness, even in just doing things like home screen scrolling here, and maybe we'll see it in the app launcher as well. And let's not forget the defining feature of phablets, the things that make Galaxy Notes, Galaxy Notes, the S Pen. The older S Pen on the Galaxy Note 1, a much thinner affair than the newer one, which we'll take a look at in a second, and performance lagging a little behind what one might expect from a top-end unit, especially one that's being sold on its uh, stylus-like merits. You can see there it's trailing behind. If you get going, you can get it trailing behind by a good inch or so. Um, obviously good pressure responsiveness and, you know, good performance overall from this device, but not exactly what you'd expect from something that sells itself based on being a stylus-centric device. So Samsung implemented some improvements in the Galaxy Note 2, the new Wacom digitizer capable of over a thousand levels of pressure sensitivity. Here's the new S Pen. Thicker, feels better in the hand. Um, it was touted as implementing some, some friction increasing elements to the stylus to give it the feel of a, uh, a ballpoint pen on paper almost. That is not the case. It still definitely feels like uh, plastic on glass, which is exactly what you are doing. And uh, while I can scribble nonsense pretty well, it is tough to write well. I discussed these difficulties in depth in my S Pen Guided Tour video from earlier this week, so you should go check that out if you have not seen it already. There are many, many features Samsung has built into the software here, changing some of the implementations to include support for back and menu that was there in the Note 1, but the gesture types are different now. There are also options like Quick Launch, where you draw a straight line up. There's a button on the S Pen here, which uh, allows you to change its mode of operation and you can select certain symbols for a quick launch and so forth. That is fun. Those are exciting features. There's nothing that's going to really, really enhance usability all too much. I find that my favorite implementation of the S Pen it tends to be in apps like the Gallery, where I can hover over images, and also in the Video Player, where I can scrub the video manually before deciding where I want to hop to in the video. That is a very, very nice touch. And I even find the S Pen very useful in apps where a stylus is not necessary. And styluses are not necessary in apps like Twitter here, but it is handy for precise precision input, particularly using some of the new features Samsung was able to bring to the Note 2, like the pop-up browser here. Very, very handy. As well as full-screen multitasking, a very, very innovative use of the Note 2's larger display area. So, 
If you are a Galaxy Note 1 owner, should you invest in a Samsung Galaxy Note 2? As always, that's going to depend on you. I certainly would. I think it's a much improved device. I think the more interesting question, though, is if you are not a currently a phablet owner and you did not own the Samsung Galaxy Note in its original iteration, how likely are you to consider something like this? Well, considering the improvements Samsung has made to the Galaxy Note line with the Galaxy Note 2, I think the phablet category is only going to get bigger in the future. But, of course, you'll have to wait for our full review to hear more of our insights with regard to the Galaxy Note 2. In the meantime, follow us on Twitter. Pocket Now Tweets is the official account. Follow me on Twitter. I'm at Captain Two Phones. It's Captain, the number two phones. Visit us at pocketnow.com. Leave a comment there if you want to discuss this quick and dirty video. If you want to throw us a thumbs up here on YouTube, that would be awesome, too, if you liked what you saw. In the meantime, stay tuned to Pocket Now. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.